just head over to the Philippines and uh, got this vegan margarine. Check out that vegan margarine. Vegan margarine, random. Uh, this plastic little bun there is a little vegan meal. Always order vegan food before you get on the plane. You live at 48 hours. That spoon, I've used that spoon so many times. Recycle, reduce, reuse, 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 reuse. Uh, so yeah, when I get on the plane, when I book my ticket, I either book the vegan option or I call them up before the flight. Don't wait to get on the plane and then order your vegan food because they won't have anything for you. So you order it. You pre-order at least 48 hours or longer before your flight and uh, it should be sorted there. So yeah, there's my ticket, there's a vegan meal. Thanks for coming, mate. Carbon the fuck up on the Philippine Airlines. And uh, just carbs everywhere, baby. Carbs everywhere. <laughs> Carb, do not know coming through, please. Thank you. Excuse me, thank you, coming through. And where's my seat? Oh, I'm on the wrong plane. I'm on the wrong plane, I've got to ride my bike across the ocean now. Yeah, but oh, here we go, there's a little seat for me. Beautiful, mate, beautiful. See, so, yeah, that's what you do, you just organize yourself, get your food, don't be hungry, man, don't be hungry. Yeah, so a little pineapple juice. Thanks to the uh, business now today. Secret to flying, water, sugar, and <laughs> avoid getting sunburned before you get in the plane like I just did. And uh, so hydrated, so carved up, and your productivity is just so much more. You don't, no jet lag, I don't get jet lag anymore. I'm just like ready to roll as soon as I get off the plane. And it's hilarious because I spent all day sleeping on the, well, not all day, I spent last night sleeping on the carpet, found a little rug on the plane. And uh, just, just being in Davao City, seeing the Filipinos, seeing the street kids and stuff, just getting it done. It's just giving me a whole new perspective on work ethic, man. Ready to take it to the next level starting today. Slept on the floor all night here in Singapore. I'm getting dirty looks <laughs> in the business class lounge. Chicken Sprite. I'm still drinking vodka for breakfast. I'm drinking Sprite and fruit juice. See if we can get some vegan food here, eh? You'd have to be a dumb motherfucker to spend that much on alcohol. Be sober, boy. So for a bottle, eight thousand bucks. <laughs> sucker born every minute. This one's a list of a sucker, five thousand bucks. Wow. This and then bargain discount, thousand bucks. What a fucking inspiration, man. Fuck. Inspiration abundance here in the Philippines. So all you whining people out there, oh my God, come to the Philippines, man, and, and you'll see people putting you to shame with work ethic. We're just getting it fucking done, no complaining. I asked that guy, he said, you need a hand, he goes, getting it done, he's getting it done. He's getting it done. You know? He ain't begging on the street. He's, he, he didn't even want any of my help. He's just like, no, I'm look after myself, mate. Thanks anyway. Self-sufficiency. Self-sufficiency. I see, I see so many examples of that every day, man. I mean, you have people walk up to you on the street and say, hey, give me money. Um, they're mostly kids who don't know better. They just don't have the executive function. And I can sort of see that, you know. That's fair enough, but the adults, hey, hey they always say, hey, Joe, so friendly. Uh, but we have these people in the West 
who are just, you know, especially on even on YouTube, if I could bring it up again, the vegan e-beggars, the Patreon, give me money, let me buy a new camera. <laughs> I need a holiday to Bali. Pay for my hotel, pay for my taxi, pay for my flights, pay, pay, pay. I want to go and harass people on the street. It's crazy, you know, like, I can't pay my rent. You know, and you see them, you see their videos, and they're like, filming from some lavish fucking apartment. And it's like, hang on, like, why the fuck are you e-begging if you've got so much money, you know? And why are you staying in such nice hotels if you claim you're dead broke? It's crazy. Why are you asking for donations when you've got a million dollars in the bank? <laughs> But we come to the Philippines and get some get some real world perspective here. It's fantastic and just inspiration. That guy's I got so much inspiration this trip, man. I've been here for like two weeks and fuck man. I'm a changed person. I really am a changed person. No more fucking whining. Get it fucking done. Seek inspiration and take action on inspiration you see every single day. That's what it's about, man. Your life can be a warning or it can be an example. It can be irritation or inspiration. Get it fucking done. I was just eating some orang. And he says kids, they are just, uh, you sort of see them. Just there we go. I was just eating my morang. And um, kids walked up to me and like, can I, can I have some? So I was like, alright, you guys go for it, man. I just gave it to them. And <laughs> I've never ever in my life seen kids look so grateful for some fruit. I even had to have it sit on the ground, man. Dude picked it off the ground and shared it with his brother. And they're all shouting, you know? That's pretty fucking hard, man. Oh, that's crazy, man. <coughs> crazy. That's so cool, though. Kids love the fruit here. That's hunger, man. That's fucking hunger, isn't it? It's pretty crazy world, well, isn't it? We've got vegan activists getting 2000 3000 4000 bucks a month for a couple of videos. Harassing people in the street, and then you got kids here in the Philippines who will just eat your marung, each each your fruit scraps. I was about to throw it in the compost; wasn't that good? And, and they come up and said, "Can I have some?" I said, "Yeah, no worries." You know, like fuck. Contrast, man. Contrast. All those whining bitches on the internet begging for more money. Get a job, man. I mean, these kids they don't really have that much options. It's pretty tough for them. Yeah, a lot of them are orphans. So like the ability for them to earn money. You know, it's pretty hard. They don't have that executive function to sort of develop a business at eight to 10 years of age. Um, so it's, it's a lot tougher here, you know? Fuck. Come to Davao City, come here and uh, get some perspectives on life. Get some perspective on life for sure. Hey man. <laughs> hey Joe. Hello. Hello. Hello.